what sparked the decision to start Clay, and what do you feel like um, his presence opened up? Uh, it just felt like um, he had a little more uh, spacing on the floor to start the game, and um, so um, you know, it's it's not doesn't necessarily mean you know it's permanent. It just felt like tonight that was important. And what stood out to you, obviously, from the second half, just just able to just turn it up and outscore yeah. those two final two periods? Much better uh, level of uh, competitiveness in the second half. Uh, I thought they outcompeted us in the first half. And, um, you know, they were making it difficult for us to get the ball across half court. Uh, they were playing really, really hard, and we didn't match that. And the second half, I thought we uh, flipped that around. I thought Wiggs' uh, defense on uh, Terry Rozier second half was uh, one of the keys to the game. I thought J.K. Uh, really did a, a great job competing, coming up with some rebounds and loose balls. And, uh, and great to have Loon back in the lineup. You know, Loon it represents um, a lot of what we're about, you know, just the professionalism and, and um, staying ready. And we've missed having him out on the floor. And uh, it's great, great to see Loon step in and, and play well and help us get a win. How good was Draymond on, on BAM? Uh, yeah, Draymond w w was great. I mean, I, Bam hit so many tough shots tonight. Um, you know, all you can can really hope for is to keep him, you know, away from the hoop. And he made, um, I don't know, it felt like seven or eight turnaround fadeaway jumpers. Um, but Draymond made him work for everything that he got. And, um, you know, I thought that was really key. And, you know, we didn't have to double, so we were able to, to guard the three-point line pretty well. And uh, Draymond's always... You know, a key to our defense, but especially so tonight. Coach, you held the Heat to, uh, I believe, 37 points in the second half. You mentioned the second half competitiveness being much better. But what do you think was a key other than just, was it just guys, like, guarding their yard better? Or what led to that? Uh, just, I, I, like I said, I think Wiggins set the tone with his defense on, on uh, Rozier. And better, better ball pressure, but also uh, better... Um, job of staying in front and not allowing as much penetration as we did in the first half. Steve, obviously the, the record's better on the road than it is at home. What do you think it's been worth to you guys over the years? That what, when you, what, what do you think it's been worth to you over the years that when you come into a, a, an opposing arena, there's often a lot of fans for you guys here? I mean, right. you're one of the few people that get, you're one of the few teams that gets loud cheers right. in this building. What, what's, what's that like? The collective of that been like for you guys over the years? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, you know, you walk into any arena um, in the league on the road, and there's automatically, um, you know, just uh, blue and yellow jerseys all over the place. You know, Steph's got so many fans uh, across the country, and a lot of people cheer for him no matter where we are. And um, you know, so that that, that part is. Is nice. It's um, I, it didn't work last year, so it's working again this year. I yeah, I don't I don't know why. You mentioned their their pressure, their ball pressure, giving you guys some issues in the first half. They play a bunch of different variations of defense. It's all on tape. Um, did that full court pressure catch you guys by surprise? I guess. And how different is preparing for this team versus other teams? Yeah, I mean, we we expected it because that's what they do. They, you know, they play a lot of zone. Um, I don't know where their numbers are this year, but historically, they're one of the uh, the, the the most um, zone heavy teams in the league. And um, you know, especially when they're shorthanded, um, I know Spo well. Um, he's challenging those guys to to pick up full to to get into the. You know, into the ball, full court pressure. They got a uh, an eight-second violation on us in the first half, a, a couple steals, and and I thought that kept them in the game. And and I just felt like we matched it much uh, much better in the second half. We were more aggressive attacking uh, the press. Another one of Miami's defense. Just what's the challenge of going into a game and preparing for Bam? Defensively, like what? What's unique about him? Well, he's unique challenge? in that he can uh, he can push the ball in transition. Um, he's the fulcrum of their offense. You know, um, they give him the ball and they they start running their off ball actions, triple handoffs. Um, but he can also be the lob guy, set the high screen and dive. Um, and as you saw tonight, he can make that that mid range shot uh, with ease. So he's a great player.